Morning, kindergarten. It's Mrs. Fredrickson. Are you ready to do our calendar today? <gasps> Yay! All right, my friends, let's look up here. We have a month that starts with the letter O, and O says, ah, what month are we in? October. October, that's right. Can you say October, and let's clap out our syllables. Ready? October. 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 Nice. How many times did we clap for October? Three times. That means there are three syllables in October. Good. Now, in October, we have a lot of days. We're getting close to the end of the month. What happens at the end of October? Halloween. Yes, Halloween happens. All right, let's count and see how many days we are into October. Ready? Count with me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, two. Now, is the number twenty two going to be a candy or a pumpkin? Ready? Let's find out what this pattern is. Pumpkin, pumpkin, candy. 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 What do you think it is? Let's see, my friends. The number 22 is a... Again, there you go. All right, my friends. So today is October 22nd. It is a Thursday. If today is Thursday, then tomorrow is Friday. If today is Thursday, then yesterday was Wednesday. Yes, good job, kindergartners. Let's sing our Days of the Week song together. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is October 22nd, and it is a Thursday. All right, my friends, let's add a popsicle stick into our basket. Ooh, ready? Okay, let's count and see how many are in the ones basket. Just one. One popsicle stick is in our ones basket. So we need to change. Is this the number one? No. Is this the number one? Yes, this is the number one. And now we need to count our tens basket. Remember, we have groups of ten popsicle sticks in a group. So we're going to count by tens. Are you ready? You can use your fingers and count like this while I count the popsicle stick groups. Ready? 10, 20, 30. 30 popsicles. Look at all those popsicles in there. Popsicle sticks. Oh, 30 popsicle sticks. Let's count 30 together. Ready? 10, 20, 30. Nice. So we have 30 and 1. So we have 31 popsicle sticks. That means we've been in kindergarten for 31 days. You guys are doing great. All right, my friends, I want to go over our sight words today. So let's do that. We have our sight words to look at. Are you ready? Can you tell me what word this is? I. This is the word I. Can you write the word I with me? Yep, it's a pretty quick one. Okay, let's look at this one. This is the word like. Yes, the word like. Can you spell it with me? That's when you tell me the letters that are in the word. Ready? Let's say the letters that are in the word. Let's spell it. L I K E. Like. Good job, kindergarten. Okay, let's do the next one. This is a tricky one. TH makes the th, th, th sound. 
The, yes, this word is the. Can you spell it with me? Ready? T H E. The. Very nice, kindergarten. And our last sight word that we've learned. This is the word and. The word and. Can you spell it with me? A N D. And. That is a great sight word. Okay, are you ready? I want to do some reading together. So you're, we're going to read our sight words together. Are you ready? I like, got to get the right one, the, can you think of two things that you like? I like the pumpkins and, oops, we got to have our and, and candy at Halloween. I like the marshmallows and chocolate on a s'mores by a campfire. You think of one, ready? I like the, what do you like? And what else? Very good kindergartners. Okay, let's look over at our poem, our rhyme with rhyming words. I'm going to read it out to you. I want you to be looking for our sight words, okay? And be listening for some rhyming words. I like the pumpkins large, and I like the pumpkins small. I like the pumpkins short, and I like the pumpkins tall. I like the pumpkins orange, and I like the pumpkins green. I like fall, and I like Halloween. Good job, kindergartners. Now let's go back. I heard some rhyming words. Can you help me look at the rhyming words? I like the pumpkins large, and I like the pumpkins small. I like the pumpkins short, and I like the pumpkins tall. What rhymes with small? Tall. Good job. I like the pumpkins orange, and I like the pumpkins green. I like fall, and I like Halloween. What rhymes with green? Halloween. Yes, green and Halloween both end with the "een" sound. Just like small and tall end with the "all" sound at the end of their words. They are rhyming words. Now, I have a question. There's a word that we say a lot in this poem. It's the word pumpkin. What sound do you hear at the beginning of pumpkin? Pumpkin. P -p -p -p. Yes, the sound p. Do you know what letter says the sound p? The letter P. Yeah, the letter P for pumpkin. P -p 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 pumpkin. Very good, kindergartners. Okay, I would like to go over our letter that we are learning this week. We are looking at Letter M, the letter M. This is an uppercase M, and this is the lowercase M. Can you write the uppercase M with me in the air? Put your finger up. We're going to go up high. We're going to go down. Then we're going to go back up and start over, and we're going to go down, up, and then down. Very good. That is the uppercase M. What sound does the M make? Mmm. Can you say that with me? Say Mmm, good. Can you think of a word that starts with the sound mmm? The beginning sound is mmm. <gasps> monkey. Yes, monkey has the mmm sound at the beginning, so it starts with the letter M. Monkey. Monster. Monster starts with the letter M. Mask. Mask starts with the letter M. Great job, kindergartners. Now you can make the letter M with your hand. It's just your three fingers right over your thumb. One, two, three, right over. Kind of looks like an M. Yeah, it's the letter M with your hand. Great job, kindergarten. Now I also want to show you our new number today. Are you ready for the new number? It is the number 14. This is the number 14. When you have a one in the tens place and a four in the ones place, you get the number 14. 
It says f f 14. What sound do you hear at the beginning of f f 14? Yes, that's from the letter F. 14 starts with the letter F when you spell it. Okay, let's count our 14 dots. Are you ready? Count with me, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have a 10 frame. That's all full. That's 10, 11, 12, 13. 14. Nice job, kindergartners. So we have 10 here, and then we added 1, 2, 3, 4, and that makes 14. If you have 10 and you bring 4 more, you get 14. Can you try to find 10 of something and then add 4 more and get 14? Maybe 10 marshmallows and then add 4 more marshmallows and you'll have 14. Very nice, kindergarten. I also have some shapes that I want to go over with you today. Are you ready? Which one? Oops, I dropped my card. Which shape is the oval? Yeah, this one. Oval. You can make an oval with your mouth. Did you know that? Say oval, and it makes an oval shape. All right, my friends. Which shape is, you ready, a rectangle? Yeah, that is a rectangle. A rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. The long sides are the same and the short sides are the same. It has one, two, three, four sides. This is a rectangle. You can make a rectangle with your hands. Can you put your fingers like this? And then one hand needs to go upside down and they come together and they kind of make a rectangle with two short sides and two long sides. Very good, kindergarten. All right, let's see. Which one of these is a circle? Yes, this one is our circle. It is a circle. A circle, you can make your circle like this. You can make it like this. You could make it really big with your hand and go round and round and round. That is a circle. Good job, kindergarten. Now, which one is a square? Yes, this one is the square. A square has one, two, three, four sides, and they are all the same. This is a square. You can make a square. Put your thumbs up. And then one thumb goes down, and when they come together, you have a square. There's your square. Okay, we have a few more. Which one is a triangle? Yes, this is our triangle. It has one, two, three sides. This is a triangle. You can make a triangle, put your fingers like this. Then the thumbs go together and these ones bend in together and you make a triangle. Good job, kindergartners. Okay, here's our last two, are you ready? Which one is a heart? This one is a heart, yeah, there's a heart. You can make a heart by putting your thumbs together and then your fingers just curve down until you make a heart. And the last shape that you saw a lot of today, what shape is this one? A star. A star has one, two, three, four, five points on it. This is a star. I don't know how to make a star with my hands or fingers, so I just do this and I pretend like these are stars in the sky. Can you make stars in the sky? Good job, kindergarten. Okay, I have a book to read to you today. This is one of my favorite books. It is a little long, so you might want to um, find a good place to sit. This is a fun one. It's called Room on the Broom. I heard some rhyming words. Did you hear some rhyming words too? Room on the Broom. What word rhymed with room? Broom, yes. Now, who do you see on, this, on the cover of this book? I see a witch too. I see someone. Do you see someone else? I see the cat too. So the witch and the cat are characters in our story. Did you know that characters are the people or the animals 
or the creatures that are in a story. We're going to meet some different characters in this story. So I want you to help me find out which, one, which ones are the characters. All right, this is Room on the, on the Broom by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler. I don't know which one. I think, oh, Julia Donaldson is the author. What does the author do? She writes the words. And Al Axel Scheffler is the illustrator. What does the illustrator do? He drew the pictures. That's right. Okay, get ready. We're going to look for some characters in the book, okay? We're looking for characters. Those are the people, the animals, or the creatures that are in the story. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and a long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. Yes. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. I think we've met a new character. We had the witch, and we had the cat. Now what character do we have? A dog. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom? For a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh! They were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud but held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid. Just like that. Oh, man. That's a windy day. Now, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. We met a new character. Do you know what it is? It's a bird. That's right. She dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the, the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched the bow but let go of her wand. <gasps> oh no, she can't let go of her wand. Oh, man, down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then, all of a sudden, from out of a pond, lived a dripping wet frog. <gasps> There's a new character. Who is the new character in our book? It is a frog. Yes, it's the frog. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak. As the witch dried the wand on the fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? What do you think the witch said?